If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on, guys? TVM here. Welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. That is my Prem team. And uh, we're about to go into a Rivals game. Uh, of course, it is pre-recorded. I've already played it. I needed to get two wins with uh, Prem Team to get all of the Icon Swaps online stuff done. I still have the Squad Battle stuff to do. There are uh, two Squad Battles games within the clips as well. Not too many, like one or two goals from the games. I say and we'll just move on. We've got two Rivals games. And um, yeah, I tell you what, Rivals at the moment, fun. I'm enjoying myself. I don't know what it is, but people using objective teams means that they just can't play FIFA. And I am smashing people right now. And, um, of course, FIFA is a lot more fun when you're winning games. I do lose a couple here or there, but look at this for a goal from Sane now. Picks the ball up here. Dodgy bit of football. Really shouldn't have had the ball. But I went to play, I went to, I went to play it across. And then I just thought, you know what? I'm going to bang this and see what happens. And we meg the goalkeeper. And I've never been happier in my life. Top comment. Shots. He says... Um, I would be interested to see you upload a video where you look at our teams and give your opinion on each team. Uh, it would be another avenue of offering content, and I believe everyone would enjoy it. Keep up the great work. Much love. I am interested in that, but the screenshots would essentially need to be, like, full screen rather than just, like, you going on the footbin app and building it. Plus, they'd also have to be of the game rather than you just building a squad on, on foothead, footbin, footwiz, whatever it is. So that obviously people don't go, well, he doesn't really have those players sort of thing, you know. So if you're interested, feel free to tweet me. Link in the description. Tweet me a picture of your team, whether it be from the console or whether it be from, uh, if you go onto like the web app and take a picture of, the t of your team there. Like a screenshot would be amazing so that it actually fits on the screen properly and doesn't look like uh, I took it with a toaster or something like that. That would be amazing. If you are interested, get involved. That was top comment um, along with... Why is everyone crazy about Adama, but no one can bat an eyelid about player than Werner? His stats look nasty good. Nasty good. It's crazy. Um, I agree. Uh, I, I want Adama Traore. I'm not going to do it. No chance. I do want him, but I don't know why I want him. And I said this yesterday. His stats look trash, Adama Traore. His reactions, his composure. There's a few others in there. But I just think he has so much strength and pace that I, I think he'll be... I, I don't think you'll really notice the bad parts of his game because he's got so much pace. I think that would outweigh the crap. Does that make sense? So, in actual fact, I think Adama could be a decent card. But, that aside, Werner is insane. The only reason why I've not really mentioned Timo Werner is because he doesn't fit into uh, my main team due to chemistry and he doesn't fit into a B team because of chemistry. He just doesn't fit in any of my teams. I have one German player... And that is Sane. That's it. I don't have anyone else that would even remotely fit with him. I'd have to use, like, Guardiola and Nesta or something just to try and give him some sort of chemistry. So, unfortunately, because we completely went away from Bundesliga, I have no way of fitting him into a team. With that being said, though, Holland, who now plays for Dortmund, uh, came on and as a sub in, like, 20 minutes scored a hat-trick. So it's all but guaranteed that we're going to get an inform of him that card would be amazing. So we could maybe start to move, not move away from my team, but maybe start to build a proper good second team. Because at the moment, my team is done, bar a right wing, in my opinion. I'm happy with Suarez or Hernandez up front. My right back is now done. My defense is done. We've got a couple of dynamic cards in there. Midfield is looking sexy. Literally, Dembele is the only upgrade I can make until we start doing like big icons or maybe you know, team of the season cards or something. So maybe we just start building a, a proper good second team. Uh, I know I want to build a youth team, but I was expecting future stars to happen this week. It didn't, so now it'll be delayed. So now we maybe we just focus on building a, a second team and, and maybe go down the Bundesliga route because there are a lot of good players. Maybe we do pick up Werner. Maybe when Haaland comes out, we pick him up as well. We could still potentially use some of the players that are in our main team, but we go down a different avenue with it as well. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um... Kirk leaves a very long comment uh, regarding the the promo being not not geared towards rich people, but basically he says um, he's been a lifelong FIFA fan, put a lot of time and, and effort into building Team of the Year packs and opening Team of the Year packs and getting nothing. 
built a load of packs ready for headliners, got nothing, and then uh, he goes on to say that FIFA released these great, or EA released these great cards, uh, but no one can pack them, so only the mega rich or top players get to buy them off the market, and I'm just left here wondering what's the point, and do I bin the game off? And I agree with you to a certain extent, there is a lot of luck involved, whereby you will get the odd person who opens a 5k pack and, and packs Salah's headliner card, you know? So there are people who pack them, but yeah, no, I know what you mean. Pack weight on them seems to be horrendous. And I don't... I, Team of the Year, I get it, right? Because they are, like, top, top-end cards. Team of the Year being... What I think EA should do is have... the All the promos should be rich man and poor man orientated. So, for instance, if you're happy to put actual money into the game, they should put awesome cards in packs we can i mean as casuals we can still pack them we can still open a 5k pack and get salah or i can pour fifa points in and get him that way the other flip side to that coin they should do a lot more with objectives and sbcs and give us content to grind for so for instance if we don't have money in real life to put into the game we can just play the game and get cards that way obviously the cards that you get for playing the game probably shouldn't be as good as the ones in packs because if you're spending actual money you would maybe expect to get something a little bit better so but they do do that you know we've got the likes of player of the month Werner and we've got Adama Traore SBC and we've got Alessane Platt as an objective but they, they're good cards but they're not like apart from Werner the other headliner cards they're good but they're not great I can get them but I won't use them when I get them if I pack Salah I'm using him so do you know what I mean there needs to be a happy medium between either making these cards slightly more packable or you need to give us things we can actually grind for in terms of playing for it rather than having to just rely on packing these players if that makes any sense i'm not sure if it does um we're on the game we are live and uh, a bit of bronze pack method yesterday we've still got i just opened a bronze pack now and uh, just listed that i've got a i've still got a bunch of uh, spanish league stuff on the um on the transfer list actually and a bunch of other stuff. I am hoping over the next couple of days we just get the rest of the leagues. There's no reason, in my opinion, to hold them back now. But again, if they want to try and uh, dampen the spirits of the casual user, then they might do. Because I think when you know, you're know you in a promo, EA want you to use FIFA points to open uh, packs, right? Makes sense. But... If they drop leagues, then people are more inclined to build the, the, the leagues and, and do it that way as opposed to opening uh, packs with FIFA points. So we'll have to wait and see. I'd love to see the Mexican League or the Japanese League or even the Scottish League drop over the next uh, day or two, hopefully today. So in terms of where we are with objectives, so we've just, or rather, I've just hit... I, I say I've just hit. I hit 16. I'm now like 147 points away from 17. I'll hit that tonight. And then I will, I mean, I don't care about these. These are all horrendous. I'll, probably, I'll take that, actually, because I quite like it. And I think I'm going to do the same. Yeah, I'm probably going to take that, because I'll never use it, but I will like it. Uh, I do like it. Um, I've done the daily. That'll reset at six. We can do that. But we've got week two gold. So I've not done any of these uh, yet, because I only just unlocked it. And then uh, I, I finished my games, basically. But... Um, I've got to play some squad battles tonight anyway, so that will be done. Assist three goals using through balls in squad battles on minimum professional. I've got to do the offline swaps, so I'll do that then. Um, assist two goals using lob through balls in rivals. I'll get that done tonight. I'll just play a quick game and hopefully be able to do that. Assist a goal using one-two passes. A one-two pass in two separate rival wins. I mean, to be fair, if I win two games, I will have done that. Because I that's how I score goals and get players to make runs through, right? So that's not too difficult to do. Assist a goal using a defender in rivals. I'll just whack Trent up front and uh, try and get an assist with him. Maybe a through ball assist as well so we can knock uh, knock that off. And then, of course, get 3,500. Well, we'll do that over time. So they, they won't be difficult to do. I tend to do these every week now. We're at the very beginning of the game, I wasn't finishing them off. But now I am. That will give us one, two, three, four, five, six thousand, maybe seven thousand points in total, which will take us to uh, just shy of 40k actually. So we'll be just underneath level 19, there or thereabouts, which is a 45k pack. And then we'll only be about 5k away from picking up our hour. Now I want hour over Felipe Anderson because I already have Hazard at left mid. 
at least Awar is French, links with Kante, links with Griezmann. We could maybe work that in somehow. I'm not quite sure how, but we maybe might be able to work it in somehow. Um, in terms of Alassane, I've got, I've done that, I've done that. I am, I've started that one, score at least two goals using French players in four separate Royals matches, and I've started that as well. So I've got three left to do for, for each, which isn't too bad. And as you can see on the old, uh, on this, I've got four, four games to do there and six to do there. Ten games of squad battles. Painstaking, but I will get there. Um, now, we've just sold something, which is Perrin. He's just moved to Genoa, actually, so it would have been a good idea to keep him because he'll now be in packs as a Genoa player, I think. As he, I think he's just moved to, to Genoa, correct me if I'm wrong. Man City have just scored against Crystal Palace. Devastating. Sheffield United have just scored against Arsenal, which is hilarious. But um, I'm sure you don't care about that. We'll have a look at the SBCs in just a second. Uh, first of all, I've got four packs to open. Now, they're not the best packs in the world. We do have a mega pack, albeit untradeable. So if we do pack a... Uh, Man City have just scored again. Brilliant. Uh, if we do pack... A headliner out of that it better be someone we can use that's all I'm saying so anyway uh, let's um, let's crack on with this shall we we've got a gold pack here I think two of these are tradable two of them are untrade no no wait I think they're all untradable actually basically I went back through the league SBCs and it turns out even though we opened like 45 50 packs yesterday I don't actually have enough to complete anything because we gutted the club so um, so much through team of the year. I, I just don't have enough left to complete anything. So that's why I need a new league again, really. Let's do the, uh, the one rare player. Not expecting anything from this whatsoever. It looks really bare, but they, I, I've been, I, I was bad mouthing the Halloween and the Christmas stuff that, you know, oh, it's too much. I don't like it. It's in the way. Actually, I like it. I, I need it back. Yeah, you need to do something with that. Um, 7.5 pack here again. Not a great pack. The mega pack is the one we're building towards. Hopefully, we open the mega pack and, it, it, okay, hopefully we get a headliner or something amazing. But, if we don't, hopefully we get just a, a, a bunch of stuff that, that aren't dupes. And, um... We can put them towards League SBC stuff. Failing that, of course, I just need something dropped by EA to, to help me fill the club back up again, really. Um, there is another pack, actually, before I do that. That was the other pack I was talking about. That is the Headliners Challenge, which is... I don't know what pack it is. Prime Mixed that I just see? I'm not sure. Uh, Crystal Palace have scored. Uh, well, sort of. Fernandinho scored for them because they can't do it themselves. Um, you get uh, Bang Up To Date information in this uh, in this road to glory i say that if you were sat next to me it would be bang up to date information of course when you're watching this the game had finished hours ago but there we are um there we go two sexy packs to open except not really because the prime mixed i can't even select it the prime mixed isn't going to give us anything great although it could give us some silvers that would allow us to maybe complete another team so that we can maybe get the ball rolling the, the irritating thing about it is I might have to take the plunge financially because I'm very close to finishing uh, the Bundesliga and the Premier League and maybe even the Italian League as well. If I do that, there is a very strong chance I could do at least two or three more teams from each of those leagues. So it might be worth me spending the coins, getting the leagues done, and then we can start building them and picking the packs up again. Not bad there. I uh, don't know whether that's going to be worth anything i mean probably not really Let's see if he can go for 800 and then he might sell for a little bit and then that brings us to the final pack and the final action actually of today's episode not an awful lot to do today although it's only the final action because we're going to go talk about a few of the um SBC cards. We didn't really look at them yesterday, although I am going to open this pack now rather than keep you in suspense much longer. Loving the design on that. This pack is going to be horrendous. We're not going to get a board. We're not going to get anything. It's going to be trash. It is a board. I lied. We get some really nice flares there, uh, but unfortunately it's on a walkout. It is Portuguese. It is a CDM, and it is going to be Danilo Pereira. I mean, 83 is 83 at the end of the day, so I suppose it's um, SBC fodder. But unfortunately, not an awful lot else. It was untradeable as well, so... 
You watch me get a shadow or a hunter now. No, we got 5,000 coins. That's immense. I'll take that. 5,000 coins is fantastic. Are these tradable dupes? That's what I need to know. That's the question. Okay, one of them is untradable. Davis can go. Donk can go. Uh, right. He can go. Discard. None of these are worth anything. And then maybe uh, Milivojevic is worth a little bit. Not an awful lot, but I will take it for his services to the Liverpool title race. Uh, and we just pop that in the club and we can get rid of those. We pick up 1,003. We picked up 5K. That was actually a pretty good free pack. Uh, could have been better. We could have had ourselves uh, a headliner, but it is what it is. In terms of the SBCs, nothing I want to do really. I don't know whether I talked about this yesterday. That's a good card. I like it a lot. If it was a striker, I'd be more inclined to maybe go for it. But because it's a left wing, already have Hazard. Don't really care about um, trying to change the team around. I don't. I wouldn't really be that interested in, in him to build a team around him, if that makes sense. So even picking him up and putting him into a second, third, fourth, fifth team or whatever, don't really care too much. Uh, in terms of Timo Werner, that card is... Is great. Um, his composure is a touch on the low side. You could improve it to 84. But, I mean, in general, you don't need to improve the pace. You realistically, don't need, need to improve the finishing or the um, attack positioning either. But, I mean, so, that yeah, that's just, that's fantastic. The uh, Like I said, the problem is that it just doesn't fit into anything that I have. So, I can't, there's just no point doing it. 285s and an 86, I don't think it's bad. The packs you get back are not great. But I don't think it's a bad price at all. It's a great card. I just have no use for it. Um, Adama Traore. Now, this card, as I say, it's not great to look at. It's got a lot of flaws. His finishing is bad. His long shots are bad. His reactions are awful. I mean, that's bad for a bronze card. Um, his composure is low. His, what else? His aggression isn't great either. And there's a few other things here or there, like vision not being great. It's just not a good card, really. The only thing is, and... He's a two-star weak foot. The only thing is, is it's insane pace. 99-99 with 90 ag agility and 93 balance, 91 strength. That could be enough to offset all the bad stuff because the game is so heavily built around pace, agility and balance and dribbling, which he has a lot of. You might be able to get away with this card and it might actually feel good, but... It's not for me. I, every time I look at it, I just think oh, it, it could be so much better. Even if he gets upgrades, by the way. Even if Wolves win the next four. They've just won one, by the way. They've just beaten Southampton. So even if somehow through their, their terrible run of games, because they have really, really tough fixtures coming up over the next three, even if they somehow manage to win three on the bounce and he goes to an 86 and in there he gets another inform, takes him to 87, Maybe he gets two informs, takes him to 88. It's still not going to be a great card because his reactions are still going to only be in the 70s. His composure will barely touch 80. And his finishing will only just be above 80 as well. So, personally, I don't really see this card ever being great. But, you know, who am I? Let me know in the comments if you have completed that and what you think of him. I think that was it. They didn't give us, like, a headliner section. The, the interesting thing is, of course, they, they, they didn't make, like, Adama um, or Sanchez. They didn't put them in the players tab. And they didn't make them, sort of, without an expiry. So, the annoying thing about that is, it, well, it looks like anyway, they're going to dictate whether they think we have, um, we should have enough time to complete them. So, for instance, with Sanchez and Traore, they, they're saying to us, you should have enough time to complete that in three or four days. But when we release a 90, 95 rated card, we'll put that in players and you can do that at your leisure. I just think, release everything and just put it all under one tab and just say, look, no expiry. You can just do it whenever you want, unless it's a promo. So, for instance, this headliner card, I think that should be specific to the promo. So, for instance, that ends when the promo ends. Alexi Sanchez is there for life. That's the way I think it should work because he's not really... A promo card it's a flashback card okay it's a flashback to when he was you know had several informs and it's sort of headliner loosely tied in but I just think that should be there forever and put under the players tab personally but that's just me and I know you don't care but I thought I'd tell you anyway but anyway that is gonna do it for today's episode I apologize if it's a boring one if it's a short one if it's a 
I've already said it, but I'll say it again, a boring one. Tomorrow's episode, we'll have some more gameplay again. Might even do some live games as well. I, do, I need to do a lot of squad battles, though, so I'm not really sure what to show you. But there will be some rivals, I'm sure. Um, maybe, depending on what they release tonight, we might have some more packs to open. We'll have to wait and see. If you have enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.